you broached recently the question of um, law and order in France. You guaranteed before the French people that with you at the head of France, there'll be less violence in the streets, uh, in families, violence against women, fewer burglaries, uh, homicides. Can you guarantee that? Yes, of course I can. Otherwise, I would have run for president. I believe that, in addition to purchasing power, security is a key and legitimate request of the French people. Our country is in dire straits, and I'm mincing my words. I'm, I'm being careful in terms of the terminology that I use. We are faced with barbaric behavior. We are, things are getting wilder and wilder everywhere I travel. Even deep into the countryside, I have people telling me that we can't do this anymore. There's insecurity everywhere. Whether you live in rural areas or in the city, or whether you're using mass transit uh, systems, Insecurity is everywhere, and this requires a firm response. And this is happening across the board, all over France. People stealing gas, siphoning off the gas in your tank. People stealing sheep, standing sheep, live animals, or stealing the harvest from the farm, stealing fertilizers, anything available, anything that has value, somebody will stole it. People are afraid. People are afraid to be stolen from, to be assaulted physically. And that is unacceptable. So there are two things that we absolutely must do. Number one, unbridled, mass-scale immigration is a problem that we need to resolve. And I'm stating this very clearly. That worsens insecurity in our country. And this is why... I want to suggest a referendum to the people of France. I'm sure that later we'll have an opportunity to discuss this. Uh, the goal being to radically change our immigration policy. The French should get to decide who comes to France, who stays, who leaves. We need to uphold the law and deport illegal aliens as well as felons and criminals. Secondly, we need to be firm. Of course, prevention is important, but we also need to be firm and tough on crime. In the area of justice, the French feel that because of a lack of resources, very often, there's no security. People are allowed to do whatever they want, so we need more visible policing. Law enforcement has suffered quite a bit from the contempt shown to them by your government, the doubts that you expressed regarding them. So they need to be equipped, rearmed morally and physically. They need you to show them some love. And we need to remind the people of France that it is thanks to law enforcement that we are able to live in safety and security. Also, when sentences are handed down, we need to make sure that they're actually served. Adjustments to sentences because of Mr. Bira, because of Mr. Dupont Moretti. There should be... We need to be careful when it comes to uh, adjustments to sentences. When the sentence is adjusted, when the sentence is adjusted, it feels as though we're doing nothing. House arrest? That doesn't work. It's better to uh, give a small sentence that is actually served than a longer sentence that nobody serves. They're doing it in other countries and it works beautifully. I think that we absolutely need to tackle the problem. Physical attacks on individuals are unacceptable. It's simply not okay to be attacked physically for no good reason. That simply is unacceptable. And this is why I cannot state this cl more clearly. I want an end to those sentence adjustments to all firm six-month sentences. I have a lot more to say on this topic, obviously.
But none of this is possible unless, of course, we build more prisons. I understand that uh, a lot of uh, judges uh, are now going to hand uh, down a sentence if they know that it's not going to be served because there's no space in prison. So we need more openings in the prison system. 25,000. Marine Le Pen, five minutes lead. Same question for Emmanuel Macron. In 27, will you pledge if you're re-elected? Less violence, um, less uh, crime in this country. Well, I mean, it's a hard question to answer no to, the way you've worded it. Sorry. The unwritten question, what are the resources you're going to deploy to achieve that? I'll talk about that. So, yes, we will make sure that we have the right means and resources. Now, I just recall what happened five years ago when we were debating before the first round when a police officer was shot down. Now, now, we know that we have to obviously continue to support them. We, we're not just there in hard times. We're there all by their side all the time. You know, it's not like you what you would have tried to that, do. Mr. Macron. No, I made promises and I've upheld my promises. 10,000 police officers and gendarmes, in addition to the ones we already have. And we don't do it just by tightening the belt, we do it by putting in the necessary means. And in, in addition to that, we also increased funding for the justice system, 30% increase over the past few years. So you said that we're going to employ more judges? Well, we're doing that. So we are putting means in place so that we can reduce petty crime, and we have reduced petty crime. The figures are there, statistics there to show us that all of the work that our police officers are doing on the ground is already bearing fruit. All of the work that we're doing to counter terrorism. There were 30-odd terrorist attacks that were foiled because of all of our fantastic work. Now, that is a topic that you've clearly wanted to avoid, but it is something that we have made considerable progress on. Now, if I could just focus on a few key points so that we could really show exactly everything that we have done over these past few years. Murder of women. Predominantly, something that occurs within the family, within homes. But we have worked to tackle that. One person is attacked every 44 seconds. I mean, seriously, when the victims hear you say that, that we'll talk about murdering women later. No, he, I'm talking about women who are being murdered, victims. But that's not what we're talking about. 80% of such violence occurs within the family sphere. And all of these lives, these are lives of people, and every life counts. Your, your track record speaks for itself. Now, what I'm trying to say is that we've been training police officers to identify these sorts of crimes so that they don't just try and sweep it under the rug. Because what used to happen in the past no longer happens now. People used to just go into the police station and they would make a, a stat declaration and then that would be it. And then there wouldn't be any investigation afterwards. But now that changes. And we're uh, changing with our police officers, with the justice system, but we are using ways to keep violent people away from their family. We have put in place measures to do that, and with all of the reform that we've put in place. That took a, a lot of work and we have put that in place. And with all of the budgets that we have set up, and we already have the upcoming budget, we'll be able to create 200 additional gendarme brigades for the rural areas of France. So these brigades, they will be there to ensure stability across the nation by tackling drugs, everything that we've been ramping up since uh, 2018, but also for general misdemeanors. 
malgré tout, en et qu'il est déjà, et qu'il est déjà pour nos compatriotes, c'est le cyber. But there's another issue, another form of security, cyber security. Cyber attacks against hospitals, public services. Terrorists. Terrorists are all forms of criminals are going to use the cyber world for their criminal activity. So therefore, we are going to create a system with 1,500 cyber police officers to tackle this sort of cyber crime. But then the next point, justice. Obviously, the justice system will only work if the sentences are effective. But what's the point of putting someone in prison if they're just going to be hanging around with other prisoners who have committed more serious crimes? So therefore, we need to ensure that we have a system where minors will be put through the justice system either by putting them into a military institution where they can serve in the military or by doing community service. But when we look at this notion of putting them into prison just for two, three, five days, as you would suggest, we've seen the figures and it doesn't work. But we are going to continue with the reform of the justice sector that I've already kicked off because it is important that we support our magistrates, our judges, bailiffs, all of ministry staff within our courts. We need to be able to employ more of them so that we can reduce the burden that they are facing. And it is disgraceful when we see that there is this sense of impunity. And that sense of impunity comes when the justice system isn't efficient and fast acting. So that's why we need to invest more so that the justice system can work faster and more effectively. So you've set out your plans. You've, you've both had five minutes to set out Five minutes each to discuss insecurity. Five minutes is a bit short. 